Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about our favorite and my favorite Miss Universe Russia of the decade. So which means these are the ladies that represented Russia in Miss Universe pageant from 2010 to 2018 only simply because they did not compete in 2019. So there are only nine ladies that we will be talking about and we will be ranking based on my own personal choice and I know you have your own favorites as well so I'm I will be very happy to read your thoughts and opinions later on the comment section and before we proceed let me just say that I have also uploaded similar versions of this for other countries and if you want and if you wanted to see them you can actually go and check in my channel and see if the countries that you're looking for are already uploaded but if you think that I was not able to upload the countries that you're looking for please don't forget to write them in the comment section because I will do my best to upload them and also I have a lot of pending countries to upload very very soon I'm, I'm trying my best to upload as much as possible to cater as many countries as possible even for countries who have not placed in the last decade because there are always strong candidates well anyway let's begin starting with our number nine 2016 Yuliana Korolkova I completely forgot about this one she didn't give any memorable moments during her participation and I am glad I did because re-watching her preliminaries reminded me of that horrendous gown that she wore during the preliminaries. My number 8 is 2013 Elmira Abdrazakova. Many are actually doubting her because her beauty isn't the type that we usually expect from a Russian representative and we expected something much much better last 2013 because they are hosting and we need we really need something good from Russia and when she was crowned many weren't happy and honestly going back to 2013 I am still questioning myself on why did I place her in my top five during the final prediction and maybe I was just persuaded that Russia will do anything to place high but unfortunately it did not work in Miss Universe. Her preliminary performance was also below average but then again it didn't really trick I mean it didn't really affect me when I make my prediction because again there are really moments where politics works and I'm very glad it didn't work in 2013 although it damaged my final prediction a little bit but I don't mind at all. The number 7 is 2011 Natalia Gantimorova. I never really liked her since she was crowned during the national pageant. Her swimsuit preliminary was forgettable. Her evening on performance put me on the fence because although the two different fabrics for top and bottom is weird, the top one is green and the bottom one is red. I saw the potential in it to be better. And for her performance, it is better than her swimsuit preliminaries. But still, it is never a top 30 performance. So for the non-placement in the finals, it was expected. My number 6 is 2015 Vladislava Evtoshenko. Undoubtedly a beautiful candidate from Russia and I like her. But her swimsuit preliminary was bad. I don't like her facial expression because she looked lost or something. She redeemed herself by a tiny, tiny bit during the evening gown because she still didn't give that much spark. So her non-placement wasn't a surprise as well. My number 5 is 2017 Senya Alexandrova, one of the favorites last 2017 because of her beauty and that oozing sex appeal. We really thought that she would be the one to pull Russia's first placement under IMG, but sadly... No. Her swimsuit performance was strong, same as her evening gown performance filled with so much confidence but the white evening gown doesn't look perfect for her another exclusion that surprised the pageant world it, my number four is 2014 Yulia Adipova she did not place but I surely adore the confidence of this woman she's beautiful too and has been in the radar of many last 2014 in fact many expected her to place 
she was actually great and super good during the preliminaries. Her swimsuit preliminary was super, super good. And I really enjoyed watching and re-watching her performance. And the evening gown preliminary as well with her red gown. The, oh, I mean, that performance was majestic. She, she, she looks really, really expensive in her evening gown. The only thing that's weird though is the commentary during the evening gown preliminary where they talk about her interest and enjoyment in firing a weapon. I mean, that was a huge turn off. My number three is 2010 Irina Antonenko who finished in the top 15. I know many will agree that when Irina was chosen to represent Russia, she already became a, a huge favorite because of her classic and stunning face. She's like representing the beauty of a Russian royalty. Her swimsuit preliminary was, go was actually good and that face just shines. I mean, her evening gown though, I mean her swimsuit performance was actually good but the evening gown was a disaster. I mean, I am glad that the camera mostly focused on her face because that gown deserves to be burned. I was hoping so hard that it will not affect her performance because I really wanted her to place. And when she was called, obviously, I was super thrilled. But her performance during the swimsuit competition in the finale was really disappointing. I mean, if we remember the music, it was probably because it is super, super fast. The Viva Elvis music. And the pace of the music is very fast. And her performance was so slow and so boring. I mean, it didn't really go along with the song. Which is why I'm always saying on my video before that in a swimsuit competition, I mean, the pace is very important. But you also need to go along with the song. Her non-qualification in the top 10 was expected, but it just made me sad to see that stunning face go to waste. The number 2 is 2012 Elizaveta Golovanova who finished in the top 10. I am glad she competed in Miss Universe because she wasn't really meant for Miss World. She's got this Rapunzel long hair which makes her unique than everybody else. Plus, she is super beautiful too. I knew during the prelims that she would do well. Her swimsuit performance in the finals was good and loved her energy when she's on stage. Her evening gown performance was great as well but I did not love the gown. I mean, I love the color because royal blue fits her perfectly. I just wish it was a different design, something that would elevate her personality. But nevertheless, she was amazing. And my favorite, my number one Miss Universe Russia of the decade is 2018 Yulia Polyachikina. She did not place and that's the saddest thing about it, but no one can deny that she was superb last 2018. She was like a walking doll or goddess during the competition. Her beauty, her stare, I mean, you can't help but be amazed by her overall beauty. I didn't see anything wrong with her performance, it's just she wasn't, it, probably because she isn't the type of the judges, but she still waved the Russian flag so proudly. Her swimsuit preliminary was great. Great figure, beautiful goddess-like face, and strong performance. But my favorite moment with her is the evening gown preliminary when she wore one of the most beautiful and one of my favorite gowns in history. I mean, I really, really love that blue gown with some additional something that gives life at the bottom part of the dress. I mean, that was super, super beautiful. That was the most expensive look of the night. So regardless of the result, I am still amazed by her. So that's it. These are my top 9 favorite Miss Universe Russia of the decades. I would love to know your ranking and your favorites as well. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, 
Thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.